Hey, I'm back, and hopefully on schedule this time. Um, I promised that I'd talk about my upcoming comic, and oh, here we are. So, okay, first things first, let me give a somewhat brief explanation about what my comic is about. The comic is called The Burning Light, and it's an AU explaining a crazy, probably not likely scenario in which Firestar is defeated and killed by Scourge in the Darkest Hour. The clans are forced to head to the lake territories early and Blood Clan is never dealt with, and so they grow and grow and grow and become a genuine threat. Blood Clan becomes organized in the following generations. They gain their own afterlife where they worship the previous scourges like basically gods, and each leader has passed down a singular goal onto the next. Grow Blood Clan to a massive size in order to someday take the territories of the clan cats again and grow even more. Now about 30-ish eh, years have passed since Firestar died, meaning that Essentially, the great-great-grandparents of the oldest cats in the clan are the last living warriors to be capable of remembering any of the original canon cast of warriors. The clans now are filled with entirely new characters, and the only canon cat names that you'll see brought up are Firestar and Scourge for obvious reasons. In the quote-unquote modern day, the healers from the four clans receive a prophecy from Starkland that to be summed up is... well, it basically went like this. Yeah, oh, oh, sorry, sorry everyone, but uh, yeah, Blood Clan's finally coming to beat you up. Uh, but don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry. Just open your borders and let basically every outsider who wants to join your clan in and the magical special chosen one will save the day or something. That makes sense, right? Now, okay, a lot of, a lot of questions arise here. Who's the prophecy cat? How, how in the world are they going to determine who that is? What if a Blood Clan spy joins the clan? How how are they going to be able to deal with that? Why is this so vague? There you know, there's a lot of questions. But anyways, the two characters I'm drawing are two of the four protagonist characters for the comic. The cat on the left is Sunny, and the cat on the right is Blossom, and they are two Blood Clan refugees. They were part of a mini rogue group in Blood Clan and just witnessed the deaths of the two other cats that were part of their group. Sunny's adoptive mother, Ahi, and Blossom's father, Oscar. They're wandering, trying to find a new home when they discover the clans, thanks to a weird old man kitty pet named Chester, and stumble onto ThunderClan territory, where they're taken in, deal with some drama with an apprentice named Pinepaw, who hates them, and then realize that even though they've done their best to escape BloodClan, BloodClan has seemingly followed them to the clans. That's as much as I can say about the story without getting too spoilery, but this is a story that I have been working on since I was 10 or 11 years old back in 2014. Sunny here used to be a neon and white monstrosity named Shining Spirit, and even though she was a total Mary Sue, I adore her original version greatly. The whole thing started out as a fanfic called The Fight Begins, a great name there, baby boomtown, that I wrote, I, I wrote this fanfic with a handful of friends on DeviantArt back in the day, and a few years after I started working on it, I just kind of stopped talking with them and slowly phased out the OCs that weren't mine. So now all the characters in the story are my own, and I have full control over all these little guys. Blossom is Sunny's best friend. Her, uh, gal pal, if you will, and the two are closer than anything. Yeah, they're gay. They're- they're- they're gay. I- I, I was trying to make it obvious, but yeah, they're, no, they're, they're- they're very gay. Blossom knows they're gay. Everyone else knows they're gay. Sunny is stupid, though. <laughs> she hasn't figured it out. Uh, she just- she needs a little more time. Give her- give her some time. She'll- she'll figure it out. Eventually. Um, Sunny and Blossom are incredibly close, but they are basically polar opposites of each other. Sunny is- it, she, she's kind of stupid, and responds to every conflict with a very well-thought philosophy of If I just punch it hard enough, the problem will go away, right? While Blossom is a incredibly thoughtful character who has this actual philosophy where she believes that in order to solve a problem, you need to get to the root of it before you deal with any aggressors. And she lives by this. Like, fully lives by it. I have been working for the past year or so to fully rework the story because out of literal nowhere, I decided it was a great idea to not only revive it, but later on I decided we were gonna make it a comic. Great idea there, Boomtown! That will definitely be a very easy process and will not cause you immense stress. But anyways, anyways, I will for sure be posting more speed paints related to these guys in the future, so just stick around. And the next one is- I- okay, I haven't decided yet what the next one is going to be. It's either going to be the clan leaders, or it's going to be the group of apprentices that Sunny and Blossom become friends with. But either way, it's going to be one of those two things. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little mini speed paint of 
these two characters. I, I love and adore them greatly, and I am so, so excited to finally be talking about these guys. They, this is, like I said, this is a story I have been working on since I was like 10 or 11 years old. These characters mean the world to me. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just very happy to start working towards sharing them and talking about them. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that and I will uh, hopefully post <laughs> the next uh, Burning Light Speed Paint soon.